This video is about the October Revolution in Russia. The October Revolution actually took place in November 1917. But the Russians back then still had the old calendar and there was still October. It happened in St. Petersburg and in the end the Bolsheviks, the Communists, took over power. As it is with the February Revolution, the background to the October Revolution is much more interesting because the actual events of the October Revolution, they were over very quickly. So now to the background. Russia was involved in World War I and very much under pressure, the German Empire had the upper hand. During the February Revolution, mentioned before, the Tsar was removed from power. What followed was the period of dual power. On the one hand, we had the provisional government, there were conservatives and liberals. On the other hand, there were the Soviets. The Soviet is a workers and soldiers council. And there were the two factions, the moderate socialists, socialist revolutionaries and Mensheviks. On the other hand, the radical communists, the Bolsheviks. The German Empire sent Lenin back to Russia from his exile in Switzerland to destabilize the country. And Lenin didn't waste any time. He made clear he wanted change. He published his April thesis and the key words here are peace, freedom, land and bread. So World War I should be ended, the provisional government should be abolished, there should be instead a Soviet Republic and furthermore the land, industry and the financial sector should be nationalized. From April 1917 the Russian economy went further down. It was not in a good state whatsoever beforehand but the crisis intensified. The provisional government decided to continue the war with Germany until, the, uh, until victory is achieved. This led to mass demonstrations where more than 100,000 workers and soldiers protested in the streets of St. Petersburg. In July 1917, there were even more than half a million protesters. However, the provisional government could regain control by military means. But they needed the support of the moderate socialists, the social revolutionaries and the Mensheviks. After they regained control, they destroyed key institutions of the Bolsheviks, arrested their leaders and Lenin was forced to flee to, Flin to Finland. Another episode important on the build-up of the October Revolution was the Korn Kornilov Affair. Kornilov was the supreme commander of the Russian forces. He ordered forces to St. Petersburg and it's not entirely clear if he wanted to restore order or gain power for himself. However, the provisional government stood up against him but needed the support not only of the social revolutionaries and Mensheviks but also of the Bolsheviks. They were successful but now the Bolsheviks was somehow re rehabilitated and gained popularity with the people. Now the events of the October Revolution. Before it actually started, Lenin returned secretly, secretly to St. Petersburg. On the 23rd of October, the General Committee of the Bolsheviks decided for an armed insurrection and through this to take over power. What was quite favorable for the Bolsheviks was that, a naval, uh, that naval forces arrived in St. Petersburg and the sailors were sympathetic to the communist cause. Then on the 7th of November, during the early, early hours, the Bolsheviks seized strategic positions in St. Petersburg but there is no or near to no fighting going on. The same day in the evening, the All-Russian Congress of Soviets convened and the idea was to give the revolution some sort of legitimate image. This is what they did through their two decrees, the decrees on land and the decree on peace. And also, of course, they wanted to win the support of the people. Then on the 8th of November, in the morning hours, the Bolsheviks seized and occupied the Winter Palace. That was in Russian or Soviet, Soviet propaganda. That was 
um, shown as a great event and heroic heroic um, actions. But in fact, the back door was open, the communists moved in, and they just took over uh, power without any fight. In the evening, the All Russian Congress of Soviets legitimized the coup d'etat and elected the Council of People's Commissars, that was the new government, and Lenin was its chairman. Russia now became a Soviet Republic, but the political power was not with the Soviets, but with the Communist Party. In March 1918, Russia withdrew from World War I, and the Communists did not have control of all of the country. There was a bloody civil war going on uh, from 1917 to 1920, some historians say to 1923. After that, the Communists had control. During this time, Finland, the Baltic states and Poland gained their independence. And on the 30th of December 1922, the Soviet Union was founded. How was this scene? How was the October Revolution seen? There are two perspectives. This you have to understand against the background of the Cold War. The Soviets said all the events were predetermined by Marxist theory, and Lenin just applied this theory. The Western perspective, of course, is quite different. The Western perspective is there were few coincidences. The Bolsheviks just exploited these by using ruthless means and establishing a totalitarian system. That was the October Revolution of 1917.